Then how does she pay you back so quickly? I have no idea. And to be honest, I don't care in the slightest. All I can do is assure you that she's not helping herself to the city funds, if that's what you're thinking. How could you possibly know that? <laughs> because San Mateus is rich, but not that rich. With a cardinal, we're talking about whew, astronomical amounts. And what's Candy Cane's role in all of this? I don't know. I really have no dealings with him. We have never met, and I have no desire to. He and the Cardinal have a connection, but I... I just lend money. I have nothing to do with them. My advice to you is don't get involved. Those two are dangerous. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I... I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have ever been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients, isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat... The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of... organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I can find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? <laughs> the Mother Cardinal? And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? I must be going. Next time, then. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, 
I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, listen. Come in, but please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day, sir. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we're here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. Admit it, you must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people, wouldn't you agree? Please, I'm serious. Despite all the benefits and money, these parties aren't enjoyable in the slightest. I understand. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. This woman in the green coat... Could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know.
Good day. Welcome. On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. Quite a few come in. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. What is this arena? It's a place of great pomp and entertainment, where all manner of fights take place. People are coming from every... I must be... Next. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Can I get... Look who it is. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. I have to go. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? I'm looking for someone. A woman where... Yeah, I know who you mean. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has pride. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings. No, and I can't really tell you. I must be going. Next. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you...? You would be better off forgetting that. 
That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Leggett or no Leggett. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. You have returned. The rule is still the same, you know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach, of the village of Wenshavier. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Disarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frictaman can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. 
But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a bat with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you. In all meal Frechtimen. I protect these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a High King in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tia Fradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaixe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. Can you tell me anything more about the role of the Council? We gather here at every long night and every short night. During these nights, the clans are in disagreement and come here looking for wisdom of the Council and, of course, also the High King. Those who have complaints against their mal may also be heard here and find justice. And when important events take place, if the balance is threatened, then we also meet here, so that the wisdom of all might be shared, and that we might act as the same people. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection.
Karantz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go. Tear to mud. Why are you wearing the same clothes as a Renaixe? Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? What exactly do you hope to do in this village? Well... Bring light to these nights. When we spread the word of Saint Matthias. Anything else, my We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. 
My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the Light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the Light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. 
We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadik's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the keepers of promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. Like no one's there, but the door's left open. Everything is broken and turned upside down. Empty. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. It's as if someone wanted to meticulously destroy everything in this workshop. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Barayag Nodas, Doncas's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigador and we'll find out. What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He taught that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaius Rad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? Did you receive any news from Karadek? No. He must still be high. Is there any? I must leave. What?
boy, I'm happy to see you again. What is your I heal? We this? I must go. See? He's over there. Siora, Bertir Tumad Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free, and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaiks, isn't it? We should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The rebels? The Donea Exregal. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Donegad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? that we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. 
I knew they were lying. Let's show this to his head. What brings you here on Omanawi? I must leave. What? Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us, and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. Petrus, could you try to reason with them? My brothers and sisters. You have tried to convert this village in a deceitful manner, but your attempt has failed. It's time for you to recognize your defeat and leave this place with dignity. Father, do you really think that... Come on. We cannot disobey a bishop, sister. We'd better leave now. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Karantz, do you need something? 
I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I, I blame myself for not... I understand, and I'm really sorry. Thank you, Honol. Anything else? I must pass the trial of water. Do you know anything about it? I have heard it talked about. It is a trial that all must pass if they wish to become the High King. One says that the trial reveals the true personality of those who pass it. My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar. Did she tell you about it? A little, but I know that you must choose your path. Combat is not necessarily the best. If you are confronted with animals, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it... Hmm. Is that... 